Welcome to a new video. Um, I have been playing this game called Robin Hood uh, Sherwood, Bo uh, Sherwood Builders and it just came on a Game Pass today on the Xbox Series X and um, I'm going to have to say it's really rough around the edges. Um, it is a very clunky a very PlayStation 2 type of experience when it comes to gameplay. I should have enough of the weeds of what I want. Uh, it's not the best game in the world, but I will suggest this. Give it a try. It's got potential. What it basically is, it, is it's a kind of a light survivor sandbox open world Robin Hood experience with with you build your base up and all that kind of stuff you go on quest and missions you steal from the rich you give to the poor you defend you have to take over four territories on the map and I've heard that this is a really big map I got plenty of clay so I, I've only been playing it for a couple hours but again, the jinkiness is already extremely noticeable. Um, there's no doubt about it. RT is the attack. RB is heavy attack. Uh, our LT is to depend and RT, L LB is to bring up your will. Can I feel my water here or just in the well? The second call me fill it in the well. I'm gonna show you the worst part of this is the menu and the A and the UI. That's the worst part about this game. And this game will definitely if developers please watch this, it would definitely benefit from auto aim. From auto log it uh target lock. Please give this game target lock. The combat, it would improve the combat greatly. So, but I'm going to take you back to the village, show you around a bit. Here's the Sherwood village. And I will show you what you can do with it real quick. As you can see, it's not an ugly game. Not an ugly game by any means. It's kind of pretty. It, it is a pretty game. You know, it's not a bad looking game at all. And there's frame rate dips in it, no doubt. And there shouldn't be. But, um... There's frame rate dips, but it's not enough to, like, really hurt the experience. Like, see this treehouse here in the back? I built that. Well, I had people build that. Oh, I got it. This is little John. Let's see what he's got to say. Hey, I'm hurting all over, Robin. This is what I don't like. You see this little mouse thing? It does everything. It runs on everything. It shouldn't be like that. It it needs to have a more updated UI. Hopefully, they'll add it to where you use the directional buttons to pick what you want to do, not use the mouse because the, this cursor is bad. Uh oh, that ain't good. Ouch. At my age, you've forgotten about our meeting on the bridge, or what? The bridge fight. You don't forget a blow like that. Although, I have been managing better in fights since then. Couldn't be any other way with a teacher as excellent as me. <laughs> you fancy a little adventure? And a friend as excellent as you, John. What adventure do you have in mind? Nothing epic. A few thugs wanted too close. They need to have their faces caved in for it. You ready to teach them a lesson? I'll show you where they are. Sure. I'll gladly warm up my bones, and you be sure to mind yours. Excellent. The teeth are going to fly. Let's meet at the edge of the village.
So he should be gone? Yeah, he's gone. All right, uh, let's do this first. Let me put my stuff in here that I got. All right, so I got clay. We'll put that in there. I don't know when they need that. There's reed. And I think we need a more snow stone. Right? Okay, construct your furnace. Now here, here's the deal here. And then we'll speak the talk. Here's the deal here. I'm gonna, uh, there is the uh, little house I built around the tree. That's kind of cool. I took out these trees. See the pile of grass? You could take out these trees. You come over here to the workbench. Everything is controlled by this. Everything. And it, you can't do the whole village through just this one box. You just can't do it. You have to do big sections at a time with each table. It's not as free to build as it would be like, let's say, in Minecraft or Ark or something like that. And you have your stuff over here, your typical housing. There's the furnace he wants me to build. Um, there's the stone blocks and stuff. Let's go ahead and build the furnace. Where's the ultra right here? Yeah, right here. All right, so where can, where can we put the furnace? Now, how can I change? Okay, there's the change direction. There we go. Now, when you click it in, the furnace is now being built. It's kind of cool how they do that. Before with the house, there's the person there. They're walking, walking over there, and building on it. So the furnace is a done deal. Everything you do here is controlled by this, and it's just. What else did I have to do here? Uh, speak to talk. It, it's a bit clunky. But it works for what it does. Alright, now here's your men menu inventory. Like I said, everything is controlled with the mouse. Here's how you craft stuff. I've only learned so much stuff right now. In the inventory, you start out with only 24 spots. I just got it upgraded to 32. But you start out with 24. And the good thing is, is whatever you put in your bar... It takes it out of the inventory. And then you have your journal here. Completed quest, activity quest, tutorials, history, etc. Look at this skill tree. Look how big this skill tree is. Path of Endurance. Path of the Arrow. Path of the Craftsmanship. Path of the Blade, Path of the Dexterity, Path of the Shadows. Now, I will say this about the shadow part. It's not very good as of right now. I might have to upgrade it. But as of right now, it's not good at all. I tried sneaking behind guys. I was like 50 feet away from them in the bushes, and they immediately turned around and saw me. There was no like little eye letting me know how much they were going to spot me or anything like that. Here's the map. Now, I've only got this section of the map unlocked. But if you zoom out, the map is huge. It is really big. And you have to take over every section. There's four sections. This one, this one, this one, and that one. You take over all four sections, you build the base out, get more people, and you go in and you take over. But it is, it is a very big map. And they have, you know, many quests all over the place. And, uh, yeah, that is basically it. Let's go find, uh, let's go talk to Tuck. And then let's go find uh, Little John. We'll do that mission with the bandits, and I'll show you what the combat's like. It's rough. 
Woohoo! You receive a trophy. But governing a township is an entirely different skill set. As you see, I can manage that too. But let's hope no roofs fall on anyone's head. I can think of at least one person in Nottingham Castle who could use a roof collapsing on his head. Robin. Then again, I do feel the same way about the Sheriff's well-being. Anyway, listen to me well now. This is a serious matter. Oh, serious. You know how to be serious. <laughs> I do, and so should you by now. The village that we're setting up here is only the beginning. You'll see for yourself that in time we'll learn to function not as a band of forest outlaws, but as a well-organized community. That's the plan. We'll make it so that the people will live free again, safe from the sheriff's tyranny. Now, I have not had multiple choices in this yet. Hopefully, maybe during the storyline, you'll have multiple choices that actually affects the main story of the game. That would be kind of cool. I got a feeling that's not the case, though. That would scarcely make a difference with your persistence. What's this about, then? Why, it's about the people. For now, the ones closest to us. You realize we're surrounded by a vast and marvelous land, and it's inhabited by various houses, groups, and alliances. And they are often not quite fond. I'm aware of that, Friar. Try to win the sympathy of at least a few groups. Show the denizens of this land that not all hope is lost. Having their support means you'll travel the road further ahead with greater confidence. Hmm. Reasonable. Is there something I should start with? Every action taken against bandits or the men of King John and the Sheriff is an action that to every one of us. That's what I'm about to do. Looks to take some poor soul's head. You stop him. And when you see a caravan laden with royal gold, well, I'm sure you see where this is going. I understand. There are, however, places where <laughs> concerning things are said to happen. No. I'll ask more about them some other time. Time for me to head out. King John's treasury won't empty itself. That was the first multiple choice thing I had. Alright, so where's little John? Let's... Let's, um... Access, uh... Yeah, right here. Let's go there. Now in here, you can sleep. Here's the bounty board, is my guess. You can steal moss. Yeah, see, you can pick up letters and stuff like that. Here's what I mean. I mean, how are you... That's just... No. It, there's just things in it that it can make it so much better. Let me refill my water. Here's how you craft. Got a bottle of water, got another bottle. Oh wait. Oh, that's it, I only have three bottles, okay. Go ahead and stick it in that. Let's craft some arrows while we're at it. Oh, I don't have no wood on me. Oh, we should be all right. I'm gonna use my sword this time. Where's little John? I am looking for little John. He's right there. No, where's little John? I'm stuck in that. I don't want to. What? I want to do the little John quest. Uh. What? That's the one I want to do. Interesting. 
Is it not saving? It's not. Oh wait, track quest. There we are. Now we got it. Now where's he at? Over here. I would give it a shot. If you can deal with the clinkiness, it might be a fun game. I haven't really been in the big battles yet, so I'm hoping to be in a fight in this one. I know when I went to hunt deer, it was a pain in the butt. You have this, but only it doesn't last very long at all. Yet. But it does help. It's slow motion. And you can't cut down any tree you want. You can only cut down, they will glow highlighted small trees, like that one. That one back behind this big one. Those are the type you'll cut. So little John's up here. You can definitely tell it's not a triple A title. It's not really polished, anything like that. But if you can deal with the clunkiness, um, it's a fun, it could be a fun time. I can see it being fun. Alright, where is he? There he is. Hello, little John. What's up? Finally, you're here. I'm the one with so bones here, not you. I saw a camp in this area. You're fiendishly fast for such a loser. What is this camp? <laughs> Regular thugs. They can cause trouble if they find us. Besides, so the might in something in the hollow tree. Oh. Attention, John. No time to waste. Let's get moving. First things first. Sneak up to the guard there. He's watching the camp and he doesn't look tougher than you, so you shouldn't have a problem. All right. I'll hide in the grass. This will be easy. All right. So it looks like the tall grass with the white. This grass here. Is what I need to use. And then the screen darkens up. Where's the, where's the guy right there? Yeah. So how do I... Ah! RT! All right. What do you got? What do you got? Got some coins. All right. Was that all of them here? I mean, look at the weather. The weather effects are really cool. I think that's it. Do I just go back to Little John now? Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah, old timer. Not too bad. No, I would have bucked a bigger punch for it. I've no doubt about that, John. Maybe you'll demonstrate that bigger punch on some other brigands. I can barely move with this here back. You trying to do me in? Take care of him and come back to me. Of course. How do I do? It? Go figure. All right. Mary's men's operation. Oh, he had something else. What do you have? Pick up apple. Oh, I got an apple. So how far are they? Okay, they're just right up here. If they can take out a little bit of this clinkiness, make the combat a little bit better. Don't use the um, mouse. Use more of directional stuff. Okay, I can get over there. We're going to try to do this quietly. It would be so much better. It would be a, it would be a cool game. Right, let's see what we can do here, guys. 
How long does this site stay on for? Oh, it looks like it's just like a radar thing. Alright, uh... Alright, let's go now. Oh wait, is there another guy? Oh, I thought I heard another guy. Oh, we're going to find out how good this is. Hiding in the grass. If I walk any faster, I think I'll wait. We'll go in here and I'll wait for him to go back. Come on, buddy boy, get your butt back here. Oh, well, we're going to find out. There's no, oops, wrong button. There's no lock on. Oops. Gosh dang it. There is a parry too. And I hit RT1 and it swings three times. Oh, that's kind of cool. Big guy with the sword, what are you doing? You know what? I got something for you. Don't you know I'm Robin Hood? Oh, I automatically got the key, huh? Well, I don't know. Maybe this way does make your stealth a bit better, but there's the combat. As you can see, it is, um, it is, uh, and it's, it's just a clanky game. It's a clanky experience that I know they can improve on. There it is. And hopefully they will. Well, let's see. Oh, are there more bandits? Oh, yeah, there's more up there, huh? Let's see if there's anything in town that we can get here. Oh, there's a chest. Stone. No, thank you. I'll take the lard. <coughs> All right, can I get in here? I can, I opened it with the key, there's a chest. Special item stolen. Oh, okay, cool. So is that, oh, pickaxe. Yes, I needed that. All right. Can I cook? No. You have bread here, though? White bread now. Let's eat some, shall we? I have three slices, so barley roll. All right. Yeah, I got another one. I'll eat it later. It's, uh, oh. You have to be right on top of it to pick it up, too. Onion. Alright, let's go after those other guys. Speak with little John. Or is that where I'm speaking with little John? Oh, that's little John I'm speaking to right here. Okay. So we got it done. We're good. We're good. Oh, 
Oh wait, what's that? Help! Hemp! Right on, that must be full lotions and stuff. Yeah, look at that main effect. <coughs> That's a cool effect. What did those dojos hide in there? Looks like loot from a theft. Some gold, some jewelry, everything covered in flour. So find out who this could be, John, and return it to the owner. I'll have a look around the area as soon as I feel better. By the way, do you ever miss our looting days? Remember how one time you had me put on a frog and... Well, I myself pretended to be blind to fool the sheriff. Yes, I remember. Good times, John. By God! He was howling mad like a wolf when he figured out how we duped him. You'll still hear him from a league away and got a bit of gold while at it. Maybe we'll pull off something like that again. Right now, it's time to look after the village. You grow ever more reasonable with time, my friend. But you're right. We'll meet back home. Alright, guys. So there we are. This is Robin Hood, Sherwood Builder. It's got its quirks. It's got its problems. But you know what? I can see myself having a fun time with this game. If you can deal with all this stuff. Um, the menu stuff is probably the biggest thing I'm not a fan of. Is the cursor and the menu stuff and having to click on this. It would just, to me, it would be better if it was directional. And the combat is clunky. They need a, they need a lock on is what they need. They need a lock on device so you're able to lock on to your enemies. That would make this combat so much more fun so much easier to do so but guys i'm going to end this here i hope you enjoyed the video um take this for a whirl if you have game pass i don't know i think it's 30 dollars to buy i do believe is it worth 30 bucks i would have to play more of it but um the eating and drinking is not bad enough to where it's intrusive the building is does the job you know, the, the quests are decent so far. I don't know how good the storyline is. Um, the, the combat is, could be better. It could be better. Like there's no quick switch between, between this and my bow. I have to literally pick out my bow. You know, it'd be better if I could just immediately go to my bow somehow, too. So, and there's a special attack for the bow. I don't know what that is. I don't think I've ever done that. Um, switch arrows. Oh, okay. So that's how you switch from that to poison arrows and stuff. Okay. Regular arrows. All right. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to let it go here for now. Take this for a whirl. Um, clanky, but good. Clanky, but fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.